Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be making a simple little card which I'm calling a book fold easel card. This is a cutting file that's available in my Scan and Cut cutting file shop over on my applelover53.co.uk website. If you click on the shop tab and then just scroll down to Scan and Cut cutting files you'll find it. The only bit of stamping I'm doing on this card today is stamping the thanks from the Biggest Wish photopolymer stamp set. So I've got the thanks on my block already and I'm going to be using Orchid Oasis which is one of our new in colours that came in in 2022, so this year. And I'm using the designer series paper from the 6x6 in colour stack. So there's um, four sheets of each colour in each design. So like eight sheets all together of each colour. So you've got Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet. This is the Orchid Oasis. You've got the Starry Sky and the Parakeet Party. And I'm using some of the flowers from the beautiful Hues of Happiness Design Series paper. There are dyes that cut all these flowers out of the designer series paper. I've used my scan and cut and I've just got a bowl there on my, that I keep on my table that I keep dipping into for making various cards. So I'm gonna bring in the elements that you get in the cutting file. <clears throat> So this is the base card, then there's three matting layers that I've cut from the 2022, as I say, 6x6 designer series paper in colour pack. I can't make my mind up whether I want to use the dots or the checks, so I'm not sure yet. I've cut a piece of Orchid Oasis to go on the front of the card and a piece of white to layer up my flowers that I've, as I say, already pre-cut and the leaves from the Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper. So I'm going to start by folding the cards. So your you, you cutting file has all these elements, obviously not the flowers. So there's a centre fold line. So you fold on that fold line and then just burnish. And then there's another fold line which needs to fold back. This is where the kind of book style design comes in and then you've got another score line here which you need to mount in fold because that makes your easel so effectively this is going to stick down and this is going to become your easel now you could put your greeting inside or you can stamp your greeting on another piece of paper and use that for your stopper it's entirely up to you. I think I might put it on a piece of white card and use it as my stopper. But again, I'll have a look at that in a few minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some glue here to fasten this section down. So I'm going to use my stamping seal and fold that over. Then you've got the three pieces that I've cut from the designer series paper. So one of them is going to go on here. Two of them are the same size and one's slightly taller. That's the one that goes on this section. And then the other one's going to go on the bottom. But as I say, I can't make my mind up whether I want to use the checks or the dots. I might actually use the dots. So again, I'm just going to apply some adhesive and I've made these so they're like a quarter of an inch ish smaller so you'll see the white border of your card I'm gonna pop that one there just try and line it up with the other one this one's gonna go inside and again I'm gonna just leave a border like so then this is going to stick onto this and this is going to layer up onto the front of the card. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I think, position my flowers. So I'm going to stick this one down, 
flat like so. This one I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. I'll use my, my um, black ones being as though this is a dark colour on the back. But to be perfectly honest, that's just the first thing that I saw when I opened the drawer. So I'm going to pop that one like so. And then I've got some leaves that I'm going to tuck in. And I think I'll just put these down with some liquid glue. So a little bit of liquid glue on the back. Pop that in like so. Same with this one. I think I'll pop this one in under here. That's going to stick on there. So I think I'll stick that flat. I'm going to pop that like so. I'm going to add a little bit of bling maybe in a bit. And this is going to stick on here. So you only want to put glue on the bottom half of the card. So I'm going to use some liquid glue. And pop this like so. And obviously because I'm using the wet glue, I've got a little bit of wiggle room where I can position it. I've got some glue on my, on my table. And then this, as it's only a tiny easel shape, will probably sit bumped up against here. But what I might do is bring in a scrap of white card. Might have to trim this down, I'm not sure. Stamp my thanks. I'm just going to stamp it there and see how it's looking. I've not used this for a long time, so let's see. We'll pop it near the top. And obviously this is a new ink pad with it being our new ink colours. Then I'm just going to bring in my little trimmer and trim this down. And then chop this down. Then this can go on there and I can pop this up on dimensionals and it'll just give it an extra little edge just in case this does want to fall down. I'll use my white dimensionals for this and pop that just on the centre. So it's just got an extra little space to bump up against. It folds flat to go in an envelope. And the finish size of the card, because I know people are asking me because people are buying my cutting files from all over the world now. So the finish size when flat is four by five and a half. So this will fit obviously in a UK a C6 envelope, but it should also fit in an envelope a US, is it A2 envelope? Then obviously you've got space where you can stamp or write your greeting. You could always put something on the back if you wanted to. So that's today's project made, as I say, using some of the pattern paper from the Hues of Happiness suite and the 2022 in colour of Orchid Oasis and just one little bit of stamping. So let me just get some bling just to finish this off so i'm just going to bring in my take your pick tool and i'm going to bring in the orchid oasis matte dots and i think we'll put one in the middle and then a couple of the little ones just on the card like so Everything I've used, I sell in my Stampin' Up! shop. So all the information will be underneath the YouTube video in the description. But there is an accompanying blog post on my Apple Lover 53 website. If you select the blog tab and then just look for the picture of this finished card. So that's today's project. I hope you liked it. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.